Hey everybody! Welcome back to Northern Lion Plays the Binding of Isaac Afterward. This is like ridiculously strong so far. 11 wins in a row. Eden, you can't stop me! Cross the plane! Touchdown! Greg Jamings. This is a horrible start. Uh, WNLXQ... <laughs> I don't know why. I laughed at my own joke before I even made it. It just in my head. I was like, WNLX! Uh, the hottest hits of the 60s, 70s, and 80s! It's not even that funny. Q1RG is the second half of our seed. Um, I should say, I, I don't mean to be negative about this start. Kamikaze is horrible, though. Um, at least until we get any synergy that makes it work. Stompy on the very first floor, or oh, actually, Strimmer, it's called Leo. Leo on the very first floor is actually really, really good. Because it means that our desire for tinted rocks and, and you know, pots that we can actually crack is separated from our lack of bombs. So just watch this one right here. There is, of course, the possibility that it all goes terribly wrong and I, I walk on a bunch of bomb rocks. It's also much faster for crushing poop, which I think is awesome, but uh, it later in the game, I think that Leo may well become a negative thing almost, uh, but at the start of the game, it can be really good. But the fact that we have low HP, not incredible starting stats, uh, and Kamikaze as our spacebar item is what scares me the most here, but truth be told, we might be able to finagle something here. It depends on the quality of our first item room, you know, the number of tinted rocks that we can actually come across here, and uh, hopefully maybe we can even get a crawl space or something. Kind of my, like the, the pipe dream if we want to roll like triple seven slot machine style, would be to get the quarter, maybe petrified poop or swallowed penny out of a pot, um, Go to our shop, buy something good, also get a couple of tinted rocks, also get small rock. And, um, well, I mean, if our item room contained Pyromaniac, that I'm not going to be uh, too disappointed about that. We have had that mythical, uh, oh god, maybe I should be trying not to create spiders, but uh, we have had that mythical Pyromaniac uh, kamikaze run. And honestly, like, it's, it's not bad, obviously, but... It's not great from a damage standpoint, but it is, like, pretty much a guaranteed win, so there is that. Ooh, that's actually bordering on enough money to make something worthwhile happen for us here. We do have the next floor to make this happen as well, you know, in, in terms of finances. But it's not like an arcade is going to do too much for us here. That troll bomb trolled the shit out of me in a very unusual way by taking too long to explode. And thus not killing the enemy easily, but life goes on. Kidney Stone is absolutely totally fine um i think it's it's a double-edged sword that is mostly pretty okay and when we if we can actually like consciously get the uh the kidney stone effect and use it against uh, a boss we could take them down like burst fire pretty pretty easily i think okay gotta admit the ragman fight is not working out fantastically for me right now that's what I'm worried about, is if I get in close, we're gonna have problems there. This is a situation where it would be really, really nice to have, like, two bombs. Not just for crowd control, but uh, to, to get his damage down or his, his HP down as much as possible. This is gonna take, like, another minute and a half, at least. A little bit of a tight dodge there. When I say a minute and a half, I don't actually mean a minute and a half. I mean, you know, probably, like, 45 seconds. But, you know, being off on a, by a factor of two when it comes to estimating time in this situation, that's not that bad. People always say, oh my god, that'll take five minutes. As if it's a long time. And then they say, oh my god, you know, I'll be there in five minutes, as if that's no time. You know, there's a... I'm gonna put some people on blast today, okay? If you're not a punctual person, that's okay. But if you're a punctual... Or if you're not a punctual person... <laughs> And punctual has lost all meaning for me right now, um, as, as a word in the English language. If you're not a punctual person, punctual, there we go, not punctual, um, that's fine. You know, some people are, some people aren't. We'll take our HP and go down to the next floor as I make my uh, overarching soapbox point here. But the kind of non-punctual people who, uh, who annoy me the most are the people who are like, you know, you make plans, yeah, let's get dinner at 6.30, I'll be there. And then at 6.30, you're at the restaurant. And, um, you know, you text them and you're like, what's up? And they're like, I'm on my way. And then they show up at like 7.15. And you're like, you weren't even on your way, motherfucker. You were getting ready. You were like hopping in the shower at 6.30. But you're not, uh, 
you're not ballsy enough to admit it. That's just to have the decency to be honest, because, you know, if you say, ooh, we'll take starter deck here, I think. If you just say, hey, I'm late, I'm going to be in the shower, you know that there's a chance that somebody's going to be like, way to go, asshole, we made these plans ages ago, but instead you just kind of string them along. This is, this is going to lead to comments like, who hurt you, Ryan, who hurt you? But honestly, this is apropos of nothing at all, you know. I've, I've had friends like this uh, my whole life. I don't have any, you know, unique situation. Hmm. Wow, that is probably good, I guess. Um, we get IV bag in one play there. I don't have any unique situation that uh, that speaks to me from, from recent experience, but I remember, like, hanging out with friends, and they're like, I gotta go with 7, I got plans at 7. And you're like, that's not how that works. You gotta leave at, like, 6.15, man. And then you're still hanging out with them, and they're like, yeah, you know, though I'm just on my way out the door right now. And they're not on the way out the door. They don't even know what a, the door looks like. They've never even seen it. Okay, well, Skinny on Mushroom is a really nice pickup for DPS purposes. Um, IV Bag might become useful for us in the future. It's probably more likely to be useful than Pyro, let's, or uh, than, than Kamikaze, let's put it that way. Pyro would actually be awesome, but uh, there's no way for us to really know that until we get a little further in. But I'm going to err on the side of, of caution here, which will inevitably annoy some people. A Temperance card, a Hanged Man card. Um, I feel like Two of Hearts Temperance is just a better play, uh, long t Oh, what an idiot. <laughs> it's just a better thing to hold long term. Like, th this gives us the chance, especially with IV Bag, to get some decent money. Uh, even if it is, like, a little bit less immediately useful than something like uh, a Hanged Man card, which could be, you know, more valuable short term. Uh... I'm kind of impressed, I've got to say, that we're actually making it through these floors in a relatively quick fashion, because the last floor took us fucking forever. I guess I should be happy I've got Kidney Stone and, uh, and Skinny Odd Mushroom, but we are lacking quite a lot in the damage department right now. Like, not DPS, because our, our rate of fire is pretty good, but our damage stat is, is piss poor, you know? We need, uh, we need a little bit more there. Unfortunately, uh... Well, actually, I shouldn't say unfortunately. I was trying to, like, build some drama there. But honestly, we're guaranteed to deal with the devil here unless I shit the bed. It, it, like, if I actually end up taking red heart damage on this fight, I'll die. So, unless I use the two of hearts. And it would signify something being extremely, you know, cognitively wrong with me. So, you know, call the doctor if that happens. I think we'll take this first. Just to see how this works out. And then, yeah, that is going to allow us to get both of these. Which ended up being the right decision this time. We will take Little Brimstone for sure, uh, and you know what, I'm going to keep Temperance and Two of Hearts. Even though you might think it makes more sense to uh, pop them right now to get used to them. I have faith that we'll get HP later. But anyway, what I was going to say is we're going to go to our deal with the devil and probably have a chance to get some damage anyway, and that's pretty much exactly what happened. That would be a great situation to have a Hanged Man card, but haven't seen one of those show up all game, am I right or am I right? Well, actually, streamer, there was a hanged man. Am I right or am I right is what I'm trying to say. Where is this invincibility coming from? Empty vessel, right. Are we also... Wait a minute. We're flying now. I just couldn't tell because of my beard. Okay. Awaz rune. Try it out. See what you get. Just a ticket to the next floor. Devil, two of hearts, temperance. Tell you what. We'll get rid of two of hearts, keep temperance, and also keep the devil card. I think the Devil card is really good. I mean, I, I am impressed with the AI there. Um, there's some cute plays with, with Two of Hearts and, the, and Temperance, but, uh, you know, cute plays don't always win you the game. They just make you look smart sometimes. Definitely should not be uh, cracking into those mushrooms here unless we really like where our HP is. And I'm starting to really not like where our HP is, which is my own fault, but... Let's, uh, let's minimize the, the doomsday scenario here. Little Brim is enough to carry us, especially since we can fly. Like, we've got Little Brim and flying. Even if our DPS kind of sucks right now, I don't really have an excuse to completely shit the bed. Except that sometimes, like, one in every 20 runs, I just completely fuck it. But, you know what? We will take Libra here. I think our speed is roughly the same. Rate of fire is lower, which means that our damage has gone, uh, up. And our consumables have gone way up as well, which is actually, it's a little like, you know, I'll pay I'll pay you Tuesday for a hamburger today, but uh, I do feel like we, we needed those to, to keep momentum on this floor. I don't think we really need to do that room. 
Moreover, I think by don't need to do that room, I mostly mean doing that room would be bad for business. Okay, Humbling Bundle is worth getting. We do have enough bombs for sure to check a secret room as well, but... Was there a spirit heart for sale? Wait a minute. I think... I'm, I'm coming across some interesting stuff here. I feel like Kidney Stone works really well with Libra. Did you see how big my shots were when I came out of Kidney Stone there? Like when my charge from Kidney Stone actually worked? I think that might mean that my rate of fire stat actually increases when Kidney Stone fires. I thought maybe it just stacked up a bunch of shots. I didn't really know how it worked. Um, therefore, meaning that those shots will do more damage because my stats have to balance themselves. Okay, so uh, the shot speed upgrade is fine because it also gives us an all stats upgrade. Let's go find our regular secret room, which I'm actually imagining is probably okay. Probably not right there was what I was about to say, and don't don't question it. Probably right here then. Don't walk into the mushrooms. This is the right room for us to use Hagalaz on, by the way, and I botched that a little bit. Two more cents. Pretty unlikely that we actually will be able to get to 15 necessary to get a humbling bundle, but it's fine. How do I feel about Libra so far? I think it's it's actually been pretty good. But of course, if we stack up like 30 damage upgrades at Temperance Temperance, probably beats the devil, but it makes me feel like I probably should have used the devil card. We're going to beat the devil out of it. What do you think? Use bombs here? Try to pick up maybe a speed upgrade that becomes multiple uh, attribute upgrades thanks to Libra. One of these days. I'm gonna find ya. I'm gonna get a magic mushroom baby. What? I just forgot actually that we have a... That we have a starter deck so all pills are cards. Which is actually great but didn't really work out for us here. Hmm. How does this run look? Well... I, I mean, it's a good question. That I don't really have an answer to. I think it's fine, but it, we're kind of handcuffed when it comes to taking a deal with the devil on the next floor. And that's unfortunate because we could use, like, a good tier effect. And I say tier effect instead of damage because our damage is kind of something that is a little bit less inside the bounds of our control, if you know what I mean. Like, at this point... Our damage is is a, an amalgam of the other stats that we get. It's like our our damage is like Toronto, but damage upgrades are like Oakville. You know, it's it's part of the greater city. Uh, that's a, that's a reference that will. Well, I mean, it makes sense to probably like four million people, but not all of them are going to be watching this video. Too many of them are going to be uh, hanging out, you know, eating uh, smokes poutinery and. Uh, Watching Drake concerts and, and cheering for the Blue Jays because the Leafs suck. Okay, well, maybe we'll get HP from the boss. At which case, or at, at which point, we may want to consider actually doing the temperance shit because I'll probably get a deal with the devil here. Here's our ideal scenario. Uh, all stats up, followed by a Krampus fight. Okay, well, I mean, it, it's technically like a really small all stats up, thanks to Libra. We did get the Krampus fight. Maybe I'm happy to not have HP so we can actually get uh, Empty Vessel working for us and give us that ability to fly. Sadly, the best laid plans of mice and men, something something, tell mice your plans and he'll laugh. Um, tip back your monster energy drink and the devil laughs. I think that this is one of those situations in which we do want to take Krampus' head, which we've already done. Um, we just don't have the HP to make the IV bag actually functional for us, so... It's unfortunate, because there were some cool plays there that I would have liked to have done. Well, that was a complete bricking there. And you know, when I say uh, I brick something up, I don't mean that I have anything against Masons. Some of my best friends are Masons. Like, some of my best friends have the last name Mason. But some of them also do work with stone. But I mean, bricking, is a, is that a basketball term? I don't know. All I know is I'm the world's greatest, you know, mini basketball player. I had a little mini basketball net above my garbage can from the ages of like 8 through 16. And I think, honestly, I'm probably the Michael Jordan of throwing my garbage in a wastebasket from across the, the room. 
But sadly, they don't really give out multi-million dollar contracts for that. Now, I have to admit, um, it's not a Libra thing. In fact, Libra has given us way more damage than it's taken away at this point. But uh, that could change in the future if we just get like a Death's Touch or something like that. But uh, I, I will say, Kidney Stone Libra is awesome. But apart from that, this run is leaving a little bit to be desired. Uh, Little Brim was a really, really good pickup, and a pickup that's probably keeping us as as relatively healthy as we are in the game so far, but we are, we're lagging behind where I'd like to be. We're lagging behind time-wise. That's not really as much of a problem, uh, but I would like to, if not pick up the pace, at least just, at least just get stronger. This is what we're looking for right here. Probably not literally getting bum friend but okay sure I guess we'll leave at this point and uh oh never mind I'm glad we didn't and honestly I don't really know what you do with oh just stomp it yeah I don't really know what you do with the sun card when you have no HP so we might just use it to see what's going on on the next floor like immediately we already went to the shop here it was greed um no Hagalaz rune or anything so we got to be careful about this Arcade, unfortunately, we, we can't take advantage of, so I guess we'll just move along. This is like a, a very, very average run right now. And I say that knowing that people are going to be like, Oh, my God. That people are going to be like, Well, my average run is I exclusively get soy milk on every run. I've got an Excel spreadsheet that consists of it, even though it's incredibly statistically unlikely. I have shit runs every run. That being said, look, I'm not trying to say that I'm ungrateful for having Krampus' head, little brimstone, etc., etc. I'm just saying that compared to the, the average, based on our relatively significant sample size of like 303 or something, um, this one's not really holding it down right now, but things can change. And it's possible that I've precluded it from holding it down in the future with that Libra pickup, but I, I don't think I have. Okay, please, extinguish the fires. Don't don't risk it here. Yara Rune is enormous. Fuck the Temperance card. Oh my god, that was my own fault, of course. But yeah, fuck the Temperance card. Pop it. What's the other one? The sun. Okay, just blow it up. Maybe there's a secret room. There's not. I don't think we Joker card, because we might just get a deal with the devil on this floor natively. And Depths one. So there's almost no way we're getting to a boss rush. Which, the only reason I even bring that up is to say that uh, the boss rush would be nice here because we have Krampus' head. I know I talk about boss rush on every run, but but taking Krampus' head is kind of a bummer because it's like, it's a little bit of a compromise. You're basically saying like, yeah, I always wanted to be a rock drummer, but I'm becoming a chartered accountant because that pays the bills and I've got a family. Which, by the way, is like totally valid. I'm going to donate as much as we can here. Um, it, you know, you gotta you got to provide for the people in your life if, if that's what they rely on you for. And you do have an obligation to pursue your own dreams as well, but uh, within the point of, uh, I guess, being like a, a realistic or even plausible outcome. That's where we're at right now, is that I, you know, my dreams of making awesome pyromaniac bullshit happen didn't come true. So instead I went back and I got a, you know, I got a degree and became a paralegal or something like that. And that's fine. That's that's a comfortable life, man. But I do hope that we can we can still take one. We can play on the weekends. We can still get discovered. Okay, experimental treatment did not give us HP. Sadly, I think he still popped the Joker, even though it's pretty unlikely that we can afford this. But I'm totally gonna take it because we got the two black cards in there. And uh, I'm actually really happy to have Sack Dagger because we are gonna get a decent amount of invincibility from our. Uh, from Empty Vessel, as long as we don't get HP, anyway. Uh, we've been to our curse room. Definitely, uh, I'm stoked to have... Ooh, magician, okay. I'm stoked to have gone to the shop and uh, and gotten car battery, which does work well with Krampus' head, as much as I insulted it by calling it kind of like, you know, every dad's backup plan. Yo, the world needs chartered accountants, man. Toxic shock. Okay, I know I said no to Boss Rush, but I'm probably actually going to try to book it and get to Boss Rush. Because we were lucky enough to already see our item room and our shop here. So, Toxic Shock is also great. What is this one? Two of Hearts. Ooh, I mean, the Magician sucks as well. It all sucks. Wait, Teleport Cards. Wheel of Fortune. The world. The world is what we need. 
He's got the whole world in a card. He's got the whole wide world. Hey, tip your waitresses in a card. He's got the whole world in a card. Um, oh, it's a dice room. Okay, let's do this. I hold faith that there will be enough skulls for us to get a teleport card and teleport out of the boss rush room. I believe in the, a thing called love. Just listen to the rhythm of my heart. If not, oh, that's bad. Okay, actually, Northern Lion, slow your roll. How many times does this situation happen? Try to rush to get an item out of boss rush and accidentally get yourself killed because you're an idiot and, and take too much damage in the process. It's the oldest story in the, in the English language here. Just slow your roll. If it happens, it happens. Gimpy's a nice pickup. If it doesn't happen, that's also fine. Yo, black cards or any card would be fine as well. Um, I really don't want to do boss rush. Or moreover, I don't think we can afford HP-wise to do boss rush. Um, AAA battery is a totally acceptable trinket. Oh, this is not good. There is a spirit art for sale, thankfully. And 9 volt is also pretty good there. Um, is, there there, is there a card? There is a card. We got to try, I think. If not, we should really slow our roll because there's lots of stuff left on this floor to do. And yeah, Hanged Man is not going to do it for us. So, come in here. If we don't get a teleport card, which we didn't, I think we give up on our boss rush dream. As much as I hate to say it because, you know, believe you me, I was excited about it. I don't think it's worth giving up the rest of the floor to try it. I wish it were. I wish it were. Okay. Just... Destroy the shit out of this guy. I'm so thankful we got a spirit heart here. The golden key is, is okay as well. But the golden key, I guess we should have picked up as soon as we saw it, so we saved ourselves a few extra keys, but whatever, whatever, we're done. Boss Rush is about to pass us by, and you know what? I think I've come to terms with it. I'm at, I'm at peace with it. Let's go uh, check out both of our double key rooms down here and see what it gives us. I would totally... This is one of the rare situations in which I would love to re-roll our run. I would be happy to re-roll our run to possibly just get better items out of it uh, to begin with. Another golden key. You know what? Yeah, bum friend, this all belongs to you now. It's yours! It's mine, it's mine, it's mine. Whose world is this? I think that probably... Triple A battery is better for us at this point than um, the Goat Hoof. Even though we have um, Libra, so Goat Hoof is technically like a, a small all stats up. It's not an easy choice necessarily, but I think it's another situation where it's like, you know, one of these is the cute play and one of these is, is the right play. I think that's the cute play. Thanks, thanks. I wasn't going to uh, re-roll that with the two card or anything like that, so I appreciate that a lot. <laughs> thank you. Yeah, um, thank God you came in there and saved the day. Uh, so I'm going to keep Suicide King. feel like uh, we might be able to make something happen there. kind of want to use Krampus's head, but honestly, we should be able to beat Greed at this point without taking... You know what? No! You don't get the money anymore. I'll never give you my money. I'll only give you my fornication. And in the middle of your job application, I break down. Should be able to kill mom in like one hit, I think. Uh, I was really hoping that that would be something a little better for us. Yeah, tons of damage. Take the Polaroid. There's the Tinted Rock. We could take one deal with the devil. We can't take that one. It's just, it's too much. As much as I hate to say it. All right, coffee time here. Halfway through. Roughly halfway through anyway. Are we going to do Hush? Well, I mean, it's not out of the question, but I would say right now you'd be very optimistic if you saw that as a, a likely outcome. I don't even, I'm like, I'm not pessimistic about our chances here, even though I think that we're probably, you know, maybe 50-50 to win. Uh... Really, there's a lot of things that could swing it for us in a positive direction super easily. The easiest one would just be, uh, give me like, four tinted rocks on this floor that I actually see. And uh, admittedly, I have a little bit of control over that, I suppose, if I could just open my fucking eyes for once in my life. God dang it, is that so hard? Um, 
But, uh... There's also a variety of items that could swing it for us. I recognize the irony, by the way, of, of saying that AAA battery is really important for us and then still never using Krampus's head whenever it's active. Maybe we would have been better off with the goat head. And that's something that we can, um, that we can consider relevant in the, in the post-mortem, I suppose. Depending on how this run goes, or maybe irrespective of how this run goes. Oh, man. Okay, empty vessel, invincibility. I've got a feeling that you're going to be kind of a story on this run. I got I got a feeling that you're going to be the story, Morning Glory. Two, uh, was that, I think it was a two of hearts. I don't know why I'm switching into my Tom Waits voice. My mother was a rocket. My dad was an exhaust manifold. Now. Keep it separated here. At some point, we should admit that I should no longer be rude to bum friends, but he has been very annoying so far, so I'll admit I'm, you know, I'm not above being petty. I am kind of punishing it for its for its sins here. Um, we might as well use the Empress card on one room. That was extremely risky. Here's our Empress card. Okay. Please don't take damage on this room. There's one left. Where is this in? Oh. God damn it. There we go. More keys than I know what to do with. Do we want to do this room? Ah, uh, probably not, sadly. So we got Yera, and then what was the other card back here? I think there were two of them, actually. The Moon and Suicide King. I'm holding Suicide King out of the same naivety that I was holding... You know what? Let's Moon. It's probably right next to us. Yeah. I'm holding Suicide King basically with the same naivety that I, uh... That I held uh, the Temperance cards in the hopes that we could actually make something work with them, but I think it's pretty unlikely that that'll ever happen. But if it happens, then that's sweet. By the way, there is a black feather back there. I think it's horrible for us right now. First off, I can't remember if we have any evil upgrades. It gives you 0.3 damage per evil upgrade. Oh, that's a really good shot. Um, lucky Toe. And again, it should balance with Libra, but... Um, first off, I don't think we have any evil upgrades, or if we do, maybe one or two. But then that damage all gets spread out across every single one of our stats. So I think that makes it so... Wow, that was close. Uh, so that um, AAA battery maybe is still the best option for us. No deal with the devil, down to the next floor. Pretty much exactly where we started. This is... Uh, well, I mean, time is not on our side, let's put it that way. The more time that goes on, the less room we have left to get items, and... This is our last chance at a deal with the devil, but it's not like we're really able to afford it anyway. So I'm trying to think of, like... Look, I don't like to complain too much, even though that's exactly the nature of my business. Uh, but... I do think that this run... If it struck out in, like, any way more than any other way, it's that we've got no fucking HP at all. This run has just dropped zero HP. Let's see if we can change that right here. It's kind of a double-edged sword, because not dropping HP has been awesome for Empty Vessel, but it has... Uh, see, like... I don't know, we'll, <laughs> we'll have to think about it. it. It's been awesome for Empty Vessel, but it's also put us in a situation where deals with the devil have been real expensive. Okay, I forgot that I placed that right next to the door, so that, that makes our decision on whether or not to take that HP pretty simple. Now we're just going to hope that we get a deal with the devil here, which is not impossible. Uh, now it doesn't even matter. I figured our odds of getting a deal with the devil were low enough that we should probably just gun for something better and, and try to make this life work, you know, stack up as much HP as possible, but admittedly, this this could be a catastrophically horrible decision. But I hope it's not. We did get a deal with the devil. I mean, I guess it's a good thing. And out of all these, you probably take Incubus, right? Meet me in outer space. Like, we could have taken one more deal, but I don't trust our HP. I will hold you close if your opponent plays a Jace. That's a, that's a joke about Magic the Gathering. You know, the, the, the crux of that joke is that there's a card right now that's really good. 
It's called Jace Vern's Prodigy. Uh, and it's literally like 80 bucks a card to buy it for yourself. So when you play it, you're like, damn. I'm, I'm not saying my opponent is necessarily rich, but he cares enough about this game to spend $360 or something on a... Or $320 on a, on a playset of uh, collectible cards. So uh, that doesn't necessarily bode well for my survival, I think, here. Until you play your Jaces against him, and then he has the same uh, interaction. Okay. Good stuff. Great stuff. Is this a secret room? I'd like to go to our curse room. I'm really not comfortable spending the HP necessary to make it happen, though. Tinted Rock is good. Joker card? Two of clubs. That's not even close to a Joker card. Okay. Don't forget to use Yera. Oh, that was not good damage. Probably getting pretty close to the point where a... Uh, the Yera rune is like our, our Hail Mary play. All we need to do is get a couple of good items out of Yera, and our chances of survival go way, way up. Okay, good, good, good. <laughs> I don't really like... Uh, well, let's not lie. I was going to say I don't really like using Sack Dagger like that. But let's be honest. I totally do. It's, it's very exciting, but at the same time, it's a little uh, daunting as well, knowing that one... Uh, one wrong move could put us in a pretty bad situation. It's so daunting. It's like Daunting's Peak, the 1998 uh, volcano film starring Pierce Brosnan and Linda Hamilton. No, I didn't mean to take. I didn't mean to take it. I meant to move. But actually, we did get Infamy at least. So fair trade. We get Bob's brain, but we also get Infamy. I like Bob's brain. We really sort of don't want it right now, though. That's okay. We're gonna make it to the chest. Uh, Isaac is gonna be nuked down pretty hard by our, uh, by Krampus's head here to begin with, so. Okay, we did a pretty good job, I think, of keeping the shots mostly on him. Then we hit him with the, the kidney stone. That was really good, actually. And that's, like, the unsung hero of this run. It's actually anti-sung, because I've also said, like, oh, what a shitty item to take. Oh, what a compromise we've made. Oh, how annoying. But, um... Krampus's head with car battery has been disgustingly good. Usually it kind of, it's always somewhat effective, but it loses a little bit of its effectiveness uh, as the game goes on and it doesn't one-shot bosses, but car battery has put us in a situation where it's still, like, doing a pretty damn good job at, if not one-shotting, at least, like, kicking the shit out of them. I really think Libra Kidney Stone has been awesome, too. Okay, Yera. Mulligan's great. Flush is not. Book of Revelations is at least one spirit heart. Um, lots of spacebar items. Daddy Long Legs is awesome. Halo is fine. Actually, probably great uh, for us here. Prayer card is HP. I don't know why it became... Oh, because of car battery, it became one full HP. Which actually makes Book of Revelations great as well, because it gives us two spirit hearts. And we could carry Book of Revelations, but after saying that... Uh, Krampus' head has been so nice for us, I would feel bad to just, you know, throw it by the wayside as soon as something a little better came along. We've spent our whole life running away from our spacebar item. IV bag, kamikaze. For once, we're gonna try to tough this one out. Ah! Loving you is complicated. Well, it's... Every time I scream like that, it's, uh... It's the temptation to... Talk about to pimp a butterfly, but you know it was that, that album's like over a year old by now. I'm not, you know, uh, enlightening anybody that Kendrick Lamar's "To Pimp a Butterfly" is a hip hop classic, a living, uh, a living masterpiece that so rarely uh, you get to experience in the time of its uh, creation. I think Infamy saved us a hit there. Okay, I'm going to turn the volume down for me a little. I'm going to blow up this judgment. And he gave us tough love. How's our luck stat? I don't know. Uh, pretty much exactly balanced with all of our other stats is my estimation. So it, it doesn't seem like it's bad. It seems like it's actually working out pretty well. We're totally going to win this run. And you know what? I think there is reason to be proud of this one. Things could have gone off the rails here. If I'd just been a little stupider and been like, hey, yeah, let's take Dark Matter, we probably would have died. Um, so, I think, I don't necessarily think we had to play, like, out of our minds to make this win work. 
Um, but I think we at least had to had to be okay. Like we had to play relatively smart. Shoop the Whoop is going to replace Krampus's head. So all of the shit I said earlier earlier about not um, uh, about not uh, caring about which spacebar item we use is total bullshit. Obviously, so. Shoop the Whoop is going to be awesome because we can literally use it on every room and it's going to do double damage thanks to car battery. Or at least effectively double damage thanks to car battery. So we can it's twice as good and we can use it twice as often. Now Shoop the Whoop is already good, but this means that we can use it, or I should say it's four times better now than the average Shoop the Whoop. Which is definitely solid enough to, to make it worth taking. Okay, just kill one. Shouldn't get too cocky because we're, we're very much not... So bad. We're very much not out of the woods yet. We only have six and a half HP, which you know could could still uh, could still spell doom. But we've got to be getting pretty close to the boss fight. In contrast to where we were earlier, time is actually very much on our side now because we're we're unlikely to take that much damage over the the very few remaining rooms, probably. Hopefully. All right. Admittedly, it would be best to have Krampus's head for this one, but. Whatever. That was still really, really good damage. I think it actually was even better because we had a fully charged kidney stone when we fired it, but... Okay, you can get in there now. You have permanent Polaroid invincibility. No, you don't because you have so much uh, red hearts. That's fine. Okay, thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, click the like button. It helps out a great deal. Of course, subscribe if you want to see more in the future. For now, thanks for watching, and I will see you next time.